affair? Where is Seekrim now? Impossible to say. She's on a mission spanning the realms in search of our lost sisters. Our hope is if she can bring their incorporeal spirits to Vanaheim, we can find a way to restore them to uncorrupted forms. Just beginning to tell us the story of Uther, the stonemason's son, and the wager of Odin and Volgin. Yes. All right. Hold that thought. I think I hear something sizable. Just beginning to tell us the story of Hrimthur, the stonemason's son, and the wager of Odin and Volgin. Yes. All right. Bold. I hear something large. Another coal raider camp. Kratos, we should do something about them.
Incoming fire! You're on fire, Vitor! They will fire! Maybe the wolves will cease their whining.
suffers at wolves. I grow tired of your lack of empathy for your own wolves. It's Demos, isn't it, brother? I should not have told you, Demos. You see yourself in these wolves. In their fear. Let us keep moving. You were just beginning to tell us the story of Fleemstor, the stonemason's son, and the wager owed in Involdian. Yes. All right. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed in the But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with Fire, We've got to clear out all these undead bastards. You're on fire, Kratos. It will pass. Return to your story of Fiendthor. You said if he built Asgard's wall in time, he was promised an audience with you. Yes. Enough. We will continue later.
Kratos, tell me more of your homeland. It was violent. Cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. An abandoned camp. Whoever was here left long ago. What did you find? A list of provisions needed to prepare a meal. A recipe? Who left that way out here? Let's take a look at the ingredients. Perhaps the recipe will lead us to them. Do they match the ones in that recipe book you found? I imagine we might find one of those ingredients around here. <laughs> there, can we return to your story of being through? You said if he built Asgard's wall in time, he was promised an audience with you. Yes. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the Mason wants. So, off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. Old. We will finish later. Another gravestone. But this one's intact. Aye, and with a keyhole tailor made for the help we found. I was afraid of that. <laughs> I've never seen craftsmanship like this before. Can't imagine how old it is. Now, where have we seen an artifact like that before? Tears Vault. <laughs> I never asked how it felt to lose your head. What would you have me say? That it tickled? Merely curious. If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. Shame. I scouted ahead, the lake's crawling with raiders. Be careful. I'll heat up the forge. A souvenir from foreign lands?
Anything for Freya? What'll it be? Have we more to talk about? Oh, got time to chat? Getting back to your story, Freya. You were forced to grant an audience after the building of Asgard's wall, yeah? That's right. And this mason, this giant in disguise... His name was Grimthor! He just smiled to see me. And as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? Wait. The wolf cannot focus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! 
Do you regret it, Lemire? Most likely. Uh, what are we talking about in particular? Giving up your body? Do I regret exchanging my life for my freedom? That's a question I ask myself every day, my lady. What about today? Hey, glad to be out in the world. How else could I spend such quality time with you? <laughs> okay, okay. thought death had cured me of my appetite, but damn if I can't stop thinking about the smell of tear stew. I wakened a fair few culinary cravings, did. Black pudding, haggis and neeps, oh! Porridge and honey. What about you, brother? Any pre-fimble winter foods you're aching for? Olives. The hell's an olive? <laughs> The Norns have no presence this way. Freya, what you said about the flaw that Hintur built into Asgard's wall, did he explain how it works? How do we exploit it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. Ah, lost it. I hoped it might have given us another <laughs> way. Something a 
brother said. The ace here burned him. Yes. We weren't yet at war, but relations with the Vanir and Aesir had been hostile for ages. Freyr got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them. Vanir techniques for bountiful harvests, enough to feed their whole population. Let this wait. Stay alert. Brother, there's no way to the lake from there. Are we holding off looking for the noise? I would have beaten you. What? Earlier. If Atreus hadn't been there. Hmm. Perhaps. We could go again. Find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. Well, he was trying to improve relations with them by sharing our magic. Getting set on fire was the thanks he got. That's true. The Aesir were too undisciplined and impatient for the subtlety of Vanir spellcraft. So when things went wrong, they blamed their teacher. So Freya was a guest when Odin burned him? Not exactly. Odin didn't mind locking Freya up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop yields. It was a mob of lesser Aesir, bitter and short-sighted, who tied him up and lit him aflame as punishment for the sabotage they imagined him guilty of. Obviously, he survived. In fact, he used the opportunity to escape. But such an affront made war inevitable. Freyr certainly wasn't the same after that. At least for a while. His carefree ways were replaced with nightmares, paranoia, and lashing out. It doesn't excuse what he said at my wedding, but I do understand where his anger came from. Ugh! <laughs> 
That must be Tyr's helmet, from his statue. Win minds, not wars. Tyr understood the greatest fight of them all was the battle for people's hearts and minds. Too bad Tyr has no interest in doing either these days.
Well, lady, I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Namir. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Well, you can see that again. Brother, you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. <laughs> ah, yes. Carry on then. Bloody drop the hole! We've got to clear out all these undead bastards! <laughs>
Dear, you once survived a giant's corpse to a... Stop a certain fight we won't talk about. Could you call on that power again? Maybe. Do you have a massive giant's corpse for me to revive? Uh, no. Well, there you go. Looks like initials. Do they match the ones in that recipe book ah, you found? I knew I recognized those initials. The Ballad of Yari and Soma. I'm not familiar. An old tale, but a good one nonetheless. The carving marks their passage through this realm. We could always try and find the others, if you're curious. Robert, in my travels, I heard of a great battle in your homeland, at a place called the Gates of Fire. The Hard Gates. You were there? No. Is that regret in your thoughts? I did regret not dying there for many years, but no longer. Isn't that the spear from Tyr's statue? for peace. Be ready for war. Oh, that's astute of the elves. Tyr never sought war, but he knew he had to be ready for it. Aye. Best be armed than not. Impressive looking weapon, isn't it? It is big. Force of habit, I suppose, since I don't sleep anymore. Although, it's far more confounding that I'm the tired one. I've seen you stay awake for days at a time without so much as a drooping eyelid. Not even a nap. Gods do not nap. Oh, tell that to Thor.
When you want to find the Norns, we'll return to the sled. <laughs> Right side, brother! 